Good afternoon. Today we're talking about the full moon in Taurus at 25 degrees, 0.26 minutes, seconds. So, we would like to talk about the how important this full moon is. The Native Americans used to call, perhaps still call this, the beaver full moon because this is the time and season that the beavers will go out, you know, use their wonderful teeth, chop all their wood, create these wonderful dams, okay? And since there were so many beavers out and the weather was cold, this is when, you know, the trappers would put out, of course, the traps and um, many beautiful fur were able to accumulate and that's where you get your beaver caps, you know. Mother Nature is always giving to us and sacrifice and we always appreciate it. But during this time, the beavers were always hard at work, reminding us that even though the time has changed, and even though, um, you know, it's a little bit darker, there's still time and place that we can accomplish things and get things done. Now, because this moon is, uh, full moon is in Taurus, it's at a critical degrees of um, relationships. There's a lot of complexity, a lot of drama going on. Now, it's not like Libra. Libra is about harmony within the relationships. True that Taurus is about love. It's ruled by Venus. But it's not necessarily about let's love the world. Sometimes it's about I prefer my love for myself over yours and wanting to get our own agenda done. And so we have to be careful that we're not trying to push and judge other people according to what they can give. Okay? Because we rather that they give us what we want them to give. And that's, um, you know, a lot of times that's what happens. Okay? During this time, the people most affected are, of course, anybody who was born within five days of November 17th, um, anybody born within five days of December 30th, February 12th, 13th, March 29th, May 15th, also July 1st, and um, August 17th and October 1st. Also, do know that it's anybody uh, who has a personal planet, sun, moon, ascendant, okay, within five degrees. So be within 20 to 30 degrees of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and um, ah, Virgo and Capricorn. Okay, so and that doesn't mean that you might not be affected elsewhere. Just remember, depending where your Venus is and your Mars, it's some asteroids, who knows? Okay, so it's very chaotic time because we have um, uh, preferences of wanting to get ahead. Also, too, that means that there could be things going on in relationships that are separating. You're going to kind of adjust these relationships. Now, remember, relationships are also the relationships are committed relationships we're talking about. These are going to be either your marriage or um, anything that has a contract, business, a roommate, okay? Even when you're going to court, okay, and open enemies. So hopefully, the this full moon is about ending. So we are finally fixing those loose ends of a situation and that needed to be done that has been looming around and thank goodness because of the eclipse it's bringing it finally to an end okay whatever it is that has been um, weighing heavily on us okay um, those who might come out a little bit more positive also know are going to be those who you know because Venus is right now conjunct um, Pluto uh, it's a very conservative business-like practical type of moon and loving that's going on people are worried about the uh, about opinions from the public and how do they look according to everybody else as opposed to what is truly coming inside okay there's a lot of people that might not want to be very accepting of the love that we're offering instead that they're going to be very critical and this is not good because also too this is uh, this sign has the Sabian symbol of a Spanish gallant who is serenades his beloved, okay? Un galán español, okay? Quien da una serenata a su querida. So remember during this time to be someone to offer a, a, a serenade, to serenade someone, you are offering to show, to publicly display your affection and your love for someone. And that takes a lot of bravery and courage, okay? Because to do it in public, there is that um, possibility of being rejected. And for some people, that is humiliation. For other people, that's like, okay, cool, rejection is fine because that's God's way, that's the universe's way of saying, you know, that person wasn't for me, saved me a lot of drama, yay, thank you, you know. Other people are like, oh no, gosh, you know, I can't, 
Oh no, I'm supposed to be loved by everyone. What does that mean? I'm, something's wrong with me. But no, that's not the case, okay? In fact, I wish we kind of changed the word rejection to mean something of um, it wasn't meant to be and it's a saving grace for us as opposed to something negative, okay? So we need to consider that and that's a good thing. But also to really go out there, demonstrate. That is what this full moon is saying is even though we have the... We have the um, the loose trine there going with Venus and Pluto and Capricorn. It's actually saying that publicly give yourself and show yourself. Show that love language that you can offer. Remember, everybody has a different love language. And which is the love language that you can offer and you're willing to put out there, okay? So go ahead and, and do that. Maybe it's with your child or, you know, with a... Uh, um, a romantic partner okay and maybe it is you know you're willing to put yourself out there you know with a business partner of saying hey I really think that this would be a great idea what do you think okay and um, also too as the receiving person sometimes we say that we don't have abundance and that's not because we actually don't have abundance it's because we are not being open to receive what is being given okay if you are only you know considering you know what you want as opposed to what is available to you then you might not think that you are full of abundance and if that's the case then you're always going to be needing and you're always going to be feeling left out and that you don't have enough when you actually see that my goodness there is so much about and there is tremendous amount and to be appreciative of that amount so also the person receiving the affection receiving the love accept it openly you know be thankful and appreciative that any kind of love is is there and um, what the kind of love that we might want and prefer or need well let's try and give it to ourselves okay uh, and um, so remembering this okay is uh, those people that are in earth sign and a uh, fixed sign because uh, Taurus is you know a fixed sign once again just to review those are going to be your fixed signs are Taurus Aquarius Scorpios and Leo your earth signs are going to be Taurus Capricorn and Virgo okay so these signs are the ones that are going to be mostly affected and also too because of Libra is ruled by Venus you get a little mm, right there okay so a little push from that also uh, moving right along okay is um, a lot of people during this time we have a um, uh, the Sun is squaring a Neptune so a lot of people are putting a blind eye when we're saying accept the love that is being given we're not saying necessarily oh yes let's just be happy you know uh, that uh, you know this guy is uh, not hitting me today no 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 that's not what we're asking okay let's not be blind either to what is you know inevitable okay be appreciative of two different love languages okay and um, not necessarily being uh, encouraging a non abuse okay a, an abusive situation so remember there's a difference from that okay so there's too much high expectations on other people during this time we have to remember that first of all we are not perfect if you are on this earth if anybody has ever been on this earth if anybody is ever going to be on this earth any soul that soul we are not perfect and we cannot be expected to be perfect each person has their own soul purpose why they're here to expect them to fulfill something of your own agenda is very arrogant and egotistical. It is within you to fulfill that yourself because that is our own love affair. Number one, we have to have a major deep love affair with ourselves before we can guide someone else on how to love us and also expect anyone to love us okay and tell and I say this over and over again until you have that how to love me uh, for dummies book stop having high expectations okay 
Also, remember, it took you how many years to learn mathematics? And then after one or two years, you expect other people to know how to love you? <gasps> oh my goodness, you are more complex than mathematics. Trust me, okay? Trust me but, uh, completely. So this is also a time of shattered and broken dreams because of this um, idea of betrayal that we think others are are committing towards us when it's really our own self delusion of not being realistic of not being practical okay and not understanding that others have their limits and boundaries and not respecting them and not respecting our own limits and boundaries okay so really we need to enjoy the little things in life at this time Taurus likes comfort okay Taurus likes you know to the the senses and pleasures of this world all right and because it is opposite of Scorpio which is a highly investigative you know um, time this might be a uh, and, and looking research deep into you know ourselves this is just really a good time to do just if the weather is good for it pop in a movie get some ice cream, have a glass of wine, if you prefer some popcorn, take walks on the beach, come come together with nature and take it easy. Expecting yourself to do too much during this time is not good, okay? Or from others, all right? Especially because of the chaotic events that will occur uh, between the 17th and the 20, all the way to the 23rd. Okay, so, um, let's see here. I think that's about it. I got it. All right, just to uh, let you know that uh, this is a good time if you wanted to um, uh, to separate from someone uh, from a situation or relationship that is unhealthy, that's abusive, and is not allowing you to be your true authentic self. Okay, and remember, abuse is not necessarily just physical. Okay, it could be mental uh, neglect or um, verbal. All right, or maybe it just has um, no purpose. Every soul has a purpose here on this earth. Don't get me wrong, but maybe it's not allowing you to grow. So there is a meditation, okay, that uh, we can do during this time that's best to perform. And you can contact me at www.celestisoulwellness. All right, for that med uh, meditation, and we say we call it leaving someone splitting up meditation even if it's for business maybe just think it's best to separate and go your own way okay during that time all right so thank you for listening once again this is Nereida Sirena at celestiasoulwellness.com and have a wonderful wonderful day